So good morning darlings. What am I doing today? Uh, today we are working on the little trailer. I've, um, I haven't been doing anything on that for a few days, so it's a few weeks. Um, so it's good to be getting back into that. So, so far what I've done, let's go inside and I'll show you. Alright, what we're doing is putting the, the lids on these two units. There's one there and there's one over there already done. You can see the lids are on there. And then I have to put this piece here on the back here. So that's been um, interesting and posing lots of challenges. I started doing it yesterday, uh, which was, and I got one done and I started working on the second, then my drill power died. So I had to get that charged and then it got too hot and blah, blah, blah. So finished off the second one today, just this morning. Um, and now I'm going to try and work out how to do this big piece. This is, that's going to be the challenge because it's five feet long and about, it's almost two feet wide. So it's a wieldy piece of wood to be working with. You know, it's something I'm going to struggle with. Um, so that's going to be fun. <laughs> But hopefully, um, if I can get that done today, um, I'm trying to decide on the piano hinge. I have, I currently have the piano hinge on the back so that it opens like this. But I'm not sure I'm going to do that because when you do that against a wall, that you have to leave a spacing gap for the corner. Blah, blah, blah. So I might do the piano hinge on the front and you and open it that way. But I don't know if that's just going to be inconvenient or what. So I'm gonna have a play with that today. Uh, what other news do we have? Um, oh, I met somebody famous yesterday. That was kind of cool. Uh, Penny invited um, Carson James, who's a, quite a famous horse trainer in the area to come. Uh, he's on TV and stuff. Um, and he came and worked with Diamond, our spooky horse. Um, and that was, I learned a lot learnt a lot lovely family met his mum I think his grandfather his wife and um, they all came over they did some filming here uh, I don't think I'm on camera I hope I'm not uh, anyway um, but that was really good and I learned some things for Trigger because uh, while Trigger's not a spooky nervous horse he does get spooked and nervous around things I've talked about this before hay bales flappy tarps things like that so I learnt some stuff there that I can use to work on with Trigger. So that was a little bit exciting. Um, what else? What else have we got? Um, not a lot's been happening with the land. I haven't been there since the last um, video. Uh, I'll probably go at the weekend. I'm hoping my guy will have um, be able to have time to put the gate in and the mailbox in. Because once the mailbox in means I can start changing you know, I can start changing my address. Um, so hopefully he can do that. Um, and then once, once all that's in and I can get the no trespassing signs up on the gate, I have a little bit more prosecution power if somebody trespasses and whatever, um, which means I can start putting stuff on the land. Uh, other news, I've been working on a quilt because it's, it's been raining the last week um so i've been working on the flip side um i'm doing like this heaven and hell thing uh so one side's blue and serene and calm the other side's all like reds and powers um so that's it'll be beautiful when it's done it's just taking a really long time to do uh, i'm currently waiting on some more fabric that should come tomorrow which will allow me to finish off the hell side um, so hopefully that'll arrive tomorrow, it might even arrive today, fingers crossed. Uh, what else? Oh, and talking of rain, uh, I've discovered that back there, it's bloody leaking again. I've had a consistent problems with this roof leaking, it is so annoying. Uh, don't buy a Forest River camper, ever. Just don't do it, because they're cheap pieces of shit. Anyway, so I'm gonna to have to go on the roof probably, I don't know, we've got about two, three more days of dry. So um, I will go back up on the roof, give it a good scrub down first of all, see if I can see any obvious leaks. 
and then just basically smear silicone all over every joint and crevice and I mean I do this every year I do this every year and the water still seems to be sneaking through so um, it's really annoying uh, each year I think I found it and I seal it uh, and it's fine for six months and then you know then we get a really heavy period of rain like we just had and I came in yesterday and I can see the staining on the walls and it's really frustrating um, but it is what it is so we'll work on that probably if I have time today if not tomorrow um, and then Saturday or Sunday hopefully go down to the land again check on the grass progress uh, still haven't been to the county and there's a reason for that I want to know what my plans are before I go and speak to them or at least enough information of like a really good idea I don't want to just go in and go help do everything for me I want to go in with you know at least some kind of site plan which means once it gets too hot today and I'm inside, I think I'm going to start researching septic systems. I know how much it costs to put in, I know roughly the idea of where it is, but things like where it should be on the land, like I know it needs to be further downhill from the water and things like that, how, how, ex how far or how close does it need to be to the property. So yeah, I'm going to um, research shitting details tomorrow today um, and then obviously water as well like where would be the best place for the well and I know a lot of this stuff will be told me by the people when I you know eventually um, contract somebody to do these things but right now I just I want to be informed I want to know so when I'm dealing with these people I'm, I have some information myself that I have some knowledge myself so I'm not just going in there looking stupid because that's like one of my biggest fears is people looking at me and thinking I'm stupid. Um, so, mm, get to, you know, study those today. Uh, and I think that's it, darlings. I really do. Um, I'm going to get on and get this work done before it gets too hot. And I will speak to you soon. Love you. Bye.